This next activity is for a competition and basically we want to establish a formula that will tally up how many competition points a team has. Now this could be similar to a competition in soccer or football or basketball where all the teams are playing in a group stage and accumulating points for wins every time they score a point. And basically this is the end of the season and how many points in total has the team got at the end of the season. So we're going to do this using an if formula. So what I'm going to do is type in equals if, okay, then open bracket and we'll go to the specific cell. So we'll start off with this top left cell for round one, okay, cell B4 equals and then in quotation marks W to represent win and if they have won, we're going to go comma and they'll be awarded three points. And then I'm going to close brackets. Okay, and then we'll press enter. And it's going to say false because obviously they got a cross in that bracket there, which may means they didn't play a game that round, or it's not possible because they can't verse themselves in this tournament. Alright, so let's also include now the next cell, which is cell C4. So once again, okay, I'm going to type in the formula, but I want to continue it after what I've already got for the formula. So I'm going to press plus and then if again, open brackets. Okay, C4, okay, equals, in quotation marks, W, in quotation marks, comma, 3, if they get the win, close brackets, and press enter, and there you go, they have been awarded points now, because they do have a W there. Okay, so let's enter in the formula for the rest of the cells there, so I'm actually going to copy the formula here, control C, and we'll do it. Again for D4, again for E4, again for F4, G4, H4, and I4. Let's press enter. So basically our total score for the Hurstful Hurt is 15. That means they must have won three to five times because three times five is 15. So let's check. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that makes sense to us. So I'm going to do a relative reference now and apply this formula to the rest of the cells. Okay, and that gives me the tallies for each of these teams. So let's double check it out. If I change this W to an L or anything else, Okay, it goes down again. So let's change that back quickly. Okay, so this formula is checking basically based on text, how many times the team has won, and then turning that text into a numerical value that can be added in a formula, okay, as a number and do a calculation with it. So I hope that gives you a bit of an understanding of the power of an if function, how we can turn, okay, text into values, and then they can be applied to large formulas. So I give it a try. This amazing tutorial is a part of Spreadsheet Lesson Activities, a new book that I've released related to content with spreadsheet concepts, activities related to functions, graphs, embedding, conditional logic and macros and much more, links to unadvertised YouTube demonstrations, exam style questions and sample answers. So be sure to check it out if you want to learn more about spreadsheets.